Hello folks, uh, this is a 2014 major paper 1 and the question number is 7. It is concerned with electromagnetic induction. It says that a solenoid, solenoid is connected in series with a battery and a switch, switch here. A hull probe is placed close to one end of the solenoid. So here it is placed at the right end. This is the hull probe as illustrated in figure 7.1. The current in the solenoid is switched on, current switched on by closing this switch the hull probe is adjusted in position to give the maximum reading so we have to move the hull probe here there here there or even here there so that it uh, gives the maximum reading of the magnetic field so uh, the uh, magnetic field or even hull voltage the current is then switched off so arrangement part uh, finished so we switched off the current in the solenoid is now switched on again Several seconds later, it is switched off. So switched on and switched off after a few seconds. The hull probe is not moved. That means it will uh, be placed in the same position for, for uh, later on. Uh, so on the axis of figure 7.2, sketch a graph to show the variation with time t of the hull voltage Vh. So we have to draw a graph of the hull voltage along with time. So during that time, what do we have is at, at one time, uh, once uh, at, at a certain moment current is switched on and at a certain moment current is switched off so it's obvious that uh, obvious that when uh, we when there is, the current is not switched on the current is not switched on at that time hull voltage should be zero so that means that that means that that means here before it is switched on the hull voltage should be zero so it is zero 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 Zero, zero, zero. and after switching off also it should be zero, 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 zero like this so before switching on zero and after after switching off it is zero now when current is switched on there is definitely there definitely will be some hull voltage and the relation for the hull voltage is given by vs equal to b i divided n e uh, t n e t so B is the magnetic flux density, I is the current in the solenoid, N is the number density of uh, electrons, that is uh, uh, that is um, number of free electrons per meter cube, E is the basic electronic charge, charge of the electron, and T is the thickness. And this thickness corresponds to uh, that thickness of the solid which is pierced by the magnetic field. That thickness, that uh, the length of that part which is pierced by the magnetic field. So what happens here is now when we uh, switch on, when the current is switched on, what happens is the magnetic field here will be increased. So before that it was zero. So when you switch on, we have magnetic field somewhat like this, so somewhat like this and this this shape. And uh, uh, when current becomes constant, it is constant. So what happens is when current is there, BH is there. When current rises, BH rises. And when current is constant, BH is constant. So what happens here is from here the value of a vh increases drastically it increases so it remains at a certain constant value like this like this like this like this like this like this like this, like this. and when it is switched off the 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 value of vh decreases abruptly like this like this and then it becomes zero so this shows the variation of whole voltage along with along with time uh, and at the time includes the switching on and switching off of the current here. Now, in the next number, what you have is the hull probe is now replaced by a small coil. A small coil, the plane of the coil is parallel to the end of the solenoid. So that means now it is replaced by a small coil, replaced by a small coil. So the coil is placed also with that. Its axis is somewhat like this, somewhat like this, and the wire goes somewhat like this. So this axis, this so this plane, this coil, has its plane, plane uh, perpendicular to its axis or, per, or parallel to this face. This face. So uh, <coughs> the plane of the coil is parallel to the end of the solenoid. State uh, Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction. So uh, it said me is pretty simple. Uh, we can just uh, state about the uh, induction of EMF and uh, uh, it is proportionality to the rate of change of uh, magnetic flux linked with the coil or incident on the coil 
So number two, on the axis of figure 7.3, sketch a graph to show the variation with empty of the EMF E induced in the coil when the current in the solenoid is switched on and switched off. So this time, the value of EMF is given by, given by minus d phi by dt. So this phi is the value of uh, magnetic flux. And this phi is proportional to the current in the solenoid. So that's why we have E is proportional to minus d, di by dt. Or I can even say E equal to some constant minus some constant di by dt. So that means when current is varying, we have E. When current is constant, we don't have E. So initially, current is 0. So 0 means that the value of E will be 0, 0, 0. So it will be 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. From here to here, it will be almost, almost, almost 0. And from here also, it will be 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Now, now when the current rises abruptly, when the current rises abruptly, it means it has got some change. So that means uh, we will have some value of E. And the value will be like, like that. If the current rises, this will be positive, but this thing will be negative. So that's why the value of E also should be negative in that case. So during, while it is varying, the value of EMF will be a sudden negative value like this. Value like this. It will be peak here, a pulse here. Now then, the current is constant. So after after a few moments of switching on, the current will be constant. So when current is constant, this will be zero. It will be zero. So this again returns back to zero, and this, it is zero 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 till here. Now once again, current decreases. Current decreases rapidly. So that's why this thing will be negative. So negative negative positive. So for that moment, the value of E will rise momentarily to a positive value. To a positive value like this. So sudden increase, sudden decrease of EMF and sudden increase of EMF for a moment only till there is variation. So once there is no variation, the value of E becomes zero. Whether it is some uh, zero value, value of current zero or whether it is some non-zero value. At the time, EMF will be zero.